Julia, Allstar is certainly in focus with this merger. Let's go to um, kind of how the market's viewing this particular stock at the moment. What's driving it? If we have a look at Austin share price, it is being driven by this ACCC decision on Foxtel. And Foxtel's got a bid on the table at $1.52. So considering Austin's price, the price implying that there's about a 40 to 50% chance of the markets attributing that this deal will go through. It's still around about 12% away from, uh, from the $1.52 price as of a close yesterday. It does look like these new developments show that the ACCC is still on track for an end of March decision, which is what the market's expecting but also the outlook for Allstar is much better as well with the AFL rights plus it's uh, it's focus on sports so uh, Allstar looking pretty good in terms of its underlying business but the key driver of the share price is this Foxtel bid and it does look like the market reaction has been a very positive one to the news this morning that the ACCC is looking uh, for more comments and we've seen Allstar shares actually jumping today up by more than five percent uh, because Julia it's obviously going to be a pretty big day for the market so I'm glad you could hang around uh, already in the first 12 minutes the market's down more than one percent what do you think actually drives um, drives this today and what is what is really going on that we've had the sell-off uh, which we've already said on our channel this morning was really the first meaningful sell-off of 2012 for global markets well, we really saw that risk on trade dominating um, in Australia yesterday and that's continued today. In fact, we've seen the Australian market breaking past uh, a resistance level, uh, a support level and now looking at a 30 day low. So we have broken past 4,170 points, which was around the lowest that we've seen in the last 30 days. If we have a look at the last 60 days of the year, this is what the Australian market looks like. And you can see that we've just broken uh, that support level. The next support level is about 4,140 points before 4,000 and 50 points so it does look like very much the risk off trade is going to dominate if we have a look at what happened during the US session we did see financials and the energy sector at around about our five-week lows but it was the industrial sector and the material sectors which have suffered the most in fact those areas around about two month lows so we will we'll be watching the material sector very closely we did see BHP and Rio Tinto losing around about two percent in London trade and of course copper prices were off by two and a half percent on the London's metals exchange overnight 8th of March 9 p.m. Greek time is an important time that's the uh, time that the invitation for the restructuring expires so the market getting a little bit nervous ahead of that we have seen that nine um, parties uh, private holders of Greek jet hat look like they're going to agree to the deal but it does look like four holders are uh, involved in pension funds in Greece may be objecting so a little bit of nervousness coming up to that deadline we also saw the second e estimate of fourth quarter GDP numbers uh, for the euro so once again confirmed contraction of 0.3 percent there so all up we have a look at the Aussie market and if I bring up a market map what you what you'll see for the market map is that it's pretty much red across the board so it does look like that financial sector the material sector really dragging our market lower today uh, Julia anything else in terms of um, kind of drivers locally that we might see today obviously we've got a GDP read um, and we've already seen the Australian dollar sold off very heavily overnight it's back to 105 and a half is that something do you think that will actually get a bit of reaction or is there kind of too much globally going on for that if we have a look at the Aussie dollar over the last couple of sessions, it's been very much a negative momentum story. And this is what the Aussie dollar looks like over the last two trading sessions. So you can see how steep that decline has been from around about 107 to now 105 up. Uh, 0.6 US cents. So having a look at that Aussie dollar and that GDP read is going to be important. If we have a look at expectations around that read, it is for 0.7 percent growth uh, quarter on quarter. Of course, if we do see a number that, uh, that is weaker than that, that could add on uh, to the woes that the Aussie dollar is seeing at the moment. But really, the Aussie dollar is being dominated by international trade, and we are seeing that risk on, risk off trade dominating. And of course, it was very much risk off overnight. Commodity prices down, so not surprising to see the Aussie dollar coming.